six divided by six divided by six divided by six. At first glance, this feels almost boring, and that's exactly why it trips people up. Here's what most brains do automatically. They pair things up. Six divided by six is one. The other six divided by six is also one. And then they finish with one divided by one equals one. Clean, symmetrical, and confidently wrong. Here's the problem. There are no parentheses in this expression, so we don't get to group numbers just because it looks neat. Under PEMDAS or BODMAS, when division appears repeatedly, there's only one rule that matters. Go strictly left to right. So, let's do it properly. Start at the far left. Six divided by six equals one. Now bring everything else down. We're left with one divided by six divided by six. Again, left to right. One divided by six can be written as one over six. Bring the last six down. Now we have one over six divided by six. Since we're dividing fraction by a number, we use the KCF rule. Keep, change, flip. Keep the first fraction. 1 over 6, change division to multiplication. Flip the 6 into 1 over 6. Now multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1 on top. 6 times 6 is 36 on the bottom. That gives us the final answer. 1 over 36, not 1. This is why division chains are dangerous. Ignore left to right, and even the simplest looking problem will trap you. If this made sense, like the video, and subscribe to Beyond Numbers for more quick math challenges.